Hello dear students, uh, today we were discussing about acceleration and types of acceleration, position time graph, velocity time graph and what does that velocity time graph represent. So, let me focus in today's class what you mean by acceleration, what are the types of acceleration and after that we look after that position time graph and velocity time graph. Let me discuss with the topic acceleration here. So, that acceleration is represented by the symbol A here. So, then what is acceleration? The rate of change of velocity we can call it as acceleration here. So, what is that acceleration then here? The rate of the rate of change of velocity or it is the ratio of velocity divided by time taken. So, how will you define the concept of acceleration here? So, it is the ratio of velocity of the body divided by time taken here. So, in terms of mathematical expression A is equal to velocity means V minus of U divided by T I will take it here. So, here a represents that acceleration here. A represents that acceleration where V represents that final velocity. So, what is that V represent here? Final velocity whereas U represents that initial velocity. Initial velocity where T represents that time taken. Okay. Look at here, what is that acceleration here? The rate of change of velocity. Mathematical expression is, so V is equal to, sorry, A is equal to V minus of U divided by T here, where V represents that final velocity, U represents that initial velocity here. What is the SI unit for acceleration? So, SI unit. What is the SI unit for acceleration? So, look at here. Velocity, numerator velocity is there. So, what is the SI unit for velocity? Meter per second. So, in denominator one more second term is there. Meter per second square. So, what is the SI unit here? Meter per second square. What is the SI unit for that acceleration here? SI unit for that acceleration is meter per second square. Now, I can consider whether that acceleration is a scalar physical quantity or vector physical quantity. So, in a uh, first videos only we discuss about that scalar and vector. So, the physical quantity having only magnitude. So, that physical quantity I will name it as scalar here. So, if the physical quantity having both magnitude as well as direction. So, that kind of physical quantity I will name it as vector here. So, look at here. Acceleration is nothing but a velocity by time. Velocity is vector quantity. So, that <coughs> acceleration is also vector physical quantity. So, acceleration is so, it is vector physical quantity. So, look at here, acceleration is vector physical quantity. Now, we will look at that, what are the types of acceleration. So, similarly, as we discussed in case of speed and velocity. So, in that acceleration also, we will look at what is that uniform acceleration. Uniform acceleration. So, what is the mean of uniform acceleration? For example, here one object is moving along a straight line here. So, this is 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. So, this is velocity 5 meter per second, 10 meter per second, 15 meter per second and 20 meter per second. The person is moving from that one point to another point. So, look at here. He is moving from that one point to another point. From O to A, A to B, B to C and C to D here. Okay. Look at here. So, he is moving from that A to, sorry, O to A. So, with a velocity 5 meter per second here. So, O to A, he is moving with a velocity 5 meter per second. Next. So, he will take that time is 2 second here. While moving from that A to B, again he will take the time, he is moving with the same velocity. So, uniform acceleration means 
so that in case of that object is moving from that one point to another point that change in velocity in equal interval of time is constant so what's the mean of that statement here so uniform acceleration means i said that change in velocity in equal interval of time is constant so change in velocity in equal interval of time is constant means so look at here this is 5 meter per second so this is 0 5 minus 0 so again 5 here 10 meter per second here 5 meter per second so 10 minus of 5 again 5 meter per second 15 minus of 10 again 5 meter per second 20 minus of 15 so again 5 meter per second so it means that so change in velocity in equal interval of time is constant so change in velocity so while moving from o to a a to b b to c and c to d here so whatever the velocity is there so from that point b what is the velocity here 10 here so what is that change in velocity from a to b here so 10 meter per second minus of 5 meter per second so change in velocity between a b is 5 meter per second only so look at here similarly change in velocity from b to c so that is 15 meter per second 10 meter per second again that change in velocity is 5 meter per second only here also same so change in velocity is 5 meter per second only so then how will you define the concept of acceleration here the change in velocity the change in velocity in equal interval of time is constant so change in velocity in equal interval of time is constant such acceleration is nothing but a uniform acceleration next one we will look at that non uniform acceleration next one is non uniform acceleration so then what is mean by that non uniform acceleration so look at here <clears throat> well it is moving from that a to b so object or person he is moving so at point a velocity is 5 meter per second so look at here at point b so 7 meter per second at point c 8 meter per second so at point d 15 meter per second so look at here so in this motion so from that o to a so change in velocity 5 minus 0 is 5 meter per second so while moving from that a to b at point b what is the velocity here 7 meter per second 7 minus of 5 2 meter per second so look at here here change in velocity is 5 meter per second here change in velocity is 2 meter per second here change in velocity is 1 meter per second like that so look at here here change in velocity is varying in that first case change in velocity is constant so in case of that non-uniform acceleration means change in velocity in equal interval of time is not constant here velocity is not constant here so a to o the change in velocity is 5 meter per second b to a to b is 2 meter per second so b to c is 1 meter per second so in that situation that change in velocity is having different value so if that change in velocity in equal interval of time you are getting different value means such kind of acceleration is nothing but non-uniform acceleration then how will you define that non-uniform acceleration here the change in the change in velocity in equal interval of time is not constant so remember that word here change in velocity in equal interval of time is not constant here change in velocity in equal interval of time is constant here if you are getting constant change in velocity means so that acceleration is uniform acceleration if you are not getting constant so if you are not getting that constant a uh, change in velocity so change in velocity is varying means such kind of uh, acceleration we will take it as non uniform acceleration here so now let me look at that another type so that is instantaneous acceleration so what is that another type here so that is instantaneous acceleration so what is that instantaneous acceleration here 
so like that in case of that instantaneous speed and instantaneous velocity i said that so velocity of the object at particular interval of time or speed of the object at particular interval of time so in the similar aspect so instantaneous acceleration means acceleration of the object at particular interval of time so same thing so object is moving from that a uh, one point to another point so suppose it will take that 20 seconds of time so now i want to calculate that acceleration of the body at particular interval of time for example at 11th second what is the acceleration of the body at 13th second what is the acceleration of the body so in order to get that acceleration of the body at particular interval of time such kind of acceleration is nothing but instantaneous acceleration so how will you define that instantaneous acceleration then the change in So in case of that instantaneous acceleration, so I can consider that the acceleration of the body, the acceleration of the body, of the body at, at particular interval of the time. So that is instantaneous acceleration. The acceleration of the body at particular interval of time is nothing but instantaneous acceleration. I want to give that mathematical approach for that instantaneous acceleration as we given in case of that instantaneous speed here. So speed is nothing but a dx by dt we given. So in case of that instantaneous acceleration a is equal to dv by dt here. What is that instantaneous acceleration here? a is equal to dv by dt or one more form I can rewrite as in case of instantaneous acceleration. So look at here. So velocity is equal to what? So dx divided by dt. So it is differentiation. So displacement divided by time. So that is nothing but velocity. So what is acceleration here? Acceleration is nothing but what? Acceleration is nothing but differentiation of the velocity here. So acceleration is equal to dv by dt here. So wherever v is there, shall I take that dx by dt here? So did you get my point? Wherever v is there, so just I will take that dx by dt here. So look at here, d by dt into, so v means what? dx divided by dt. Shall I write it in this another form? d into d, d square x divided by dt square. So this is also about that instantaneous acceleration here. What is instantaneous acceleration? Acceleration of the body at particular interval of time. So that is instantaneous acceleration here. And one more type. So that is average acceleration. So similarly that of uh, in case of that average speed, average velocity we define in the similar aspect. I have to define that average acceleration. So, average acceleration means, so it is the ratio of change in velocity to the total time taken. What is that average uh, velocity, sorry, average acceleration here? It is the ratio of change in velocity to the total time taken. So, change in velocity to the total time taken. So, that is about average acceleration. So acceleration is equal to what? V2 minus of V1 divided by T2 minus of T1. So this is about average acceleration here. What is average acceleration here? So change in velocity to the total time taken. So A is equal to V2 minus of V1 divided by T2 minus of T1. So this is about average acceleration. So now we will look at that position time graph and velocity time graph here. So now we will look at that. What is that position time graph if the object is at rest position or if the object is moving with a uniform motion what will be the nature of the position time graph we will look at first. So first I have to understand what is position time graph here. So let me look at that position time graph. Look at here. position time graph. 
first of all I have to understand what is that position time graph. So in case of that position time graph, time is along x axis and position of the object is along y axis. So I have to draw that graph in case of that position time graph here. So while drawing that position time graph, so time is along x axis, time is along x axis and position position of the body position of the body is along y axis so that you can call it as position time graph here so look at here so i have to consider that position time graph here so what is position time graph here time is along x axis and position of the body is along y axis so such kind of graph we can call it as position time graph now i have to draw on that nature of graph for that if the object is at rest position so i want to draw on that position time graph for the object if the object is at rest position so let me consider that position time graph so in short form i can call that pt graph position time graph time graph for object for object is at rest here so if the object is at rest position what is that position time graph i need to understand so first of all i can consider time and position here so time is along x axis and position of the body is along y axis here so look at here if the object is at rest position means will it change its position so it does not change its position with respect to time here so for example initially one object is there so this is 0 second first 2 second 3 second 4 second 5 second like that so here that from the origin distance here 1 meter 2 meter 3 meter 4 meter 5 meter 6 like that so i want to consider one object here that object is at a distance of for example here this is the position of the object at 0 second this is the position of the object after 1 second that position of the object is not changing here so position is not changing means y coordinate value will not get changes as the time passes so at 2 second position of the object is same only at 4th second at 5th second position will not get changes means y coordinate value will not get changed here so i want to join these points here so you will get straight line here so that straight line is parallel to x axis so look at here if that object is at rest position what is the nature of position time graph here a straight line parallel to x axis so remember point, one point here straight line parallel to parallel to x axis so hope you understand this point if the object is at rest position what is the nature of position time graph what is the nature of position time graph here a straight line is parallel to x axis here now if the object is moving with the uniform motion so then what is the nature of the position time graph so second one is position time graph for an object is moving with moving with uniform motion so if the object is moving with the uniform motion what is the nature of position time graph i need to find out here so look at here first i will take that position time graph here so let me draw the graph here so along x axis time along y axis position here now i will give an example for that position time graph here let me take one general value here so along x axis you taken time along y axis position here so as that time one second position of the object so it travels one meter distance at two second it travels 2 meter distance at third second it travels 3 meter at fourth second it travels 4 meter distance at fifth second it travels 5 meter distance so 
this is origin 1 second 2 3 second 4 second 5 second so let me take that position 1 meter 2 meter 3 meter 4 meter and 5 meter so <clears throat> look at here so time is 1 second what is the position of the object so time is 1 second position of the object y coordinate value 1 meter here look at here time is 2 second so distance is 2 meter time is 2 second distance is 2 meter y coordinate 2 meter next one time is 3 second distance is 3 meter time is 3 second distance is 3 meter time is 4 second so distance is 4 meter time is 4 second distance is 4 meter like that so now i will join these points here so if i join the points sorry if i join the points i will get that straight line here so it is not occurring so look at here if i join all these points i will get that straight line so that straight line is passes through origin here so if the straight line is passes through origin means so such kind of graph we can call it as linear graph here so look at here so if the straight line is passes through the origin so this is the nature of graph when the object is moving with uniform motion so look at here when the object is moving with uniform motion so what is the nature of graph here a straight line is passes through the origin so if the straight line is passes through the origin means so that nature we can call it as linear graph here so what is the nature of graph for that object moving with the uniform motion here straight line passes through passes through origin or this kind of graph we will name it as linear graph what is that linear graph a straight line passes through the origin so such kind of graph we will call it as linear graph so hope you understand about that position time graph for the object is at rest and position time graph for the object is moving with the uniform motion what is the nature of graph for that of object is at rest position here